No man, Chipotle time. Chipotle could be like a daily thing. I love Chipotle. I could eat here every day, every meal. salad or burrito. You know if I want to go light or go heavy. Um, I'm about to hit the gym after this. I'll skip the, I'll skip the beans and just do a um, chicken with extra steak. Double steak? Or one scoop of each. Like a but double the serving. Thank you. That's how you do it, man. Real simple. It's got the rice, the chicken, the steak. Corn cheese and sour cream, yeah. Thank you. Do you like the salad dressing? Um, no, thank you. Last. What you got? I got the uh, burrito. I get chicken, extra steak, and I'm real simple. I don't want too much stuff on it, so it's just got yeah rice, chicken, steak, cheese, corn, and sour cream. You know, simple flavors. I could eat this shit every fucking day. That I want the I want the gains too. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even scared. He's like calling my bluff. Like you like something. <laughs> He's walking away. He's not even flying. He said I'm gonna walk away. He's like looking back at me. <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> He's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> He's not scared of you. I'm <laughs> Slowly coming. <laughs> Abe, come on. I don't want him over here. I don't want him to sit outside. No. Bomber man. Look at my guy, he looks like a fucking savage. They couldn't see him. My guy's a beast. Uh, flexing on him. Whoo, that boy flexing. Whoo, I just got killed. He's always playing this game. This game is like. It's like chess, but really fast and way more exciting. It's like you gotta you quick thinking. You gotta quick yes, yeah, very quick thinking. What you about gotta, fast chess though? You gotta outsmart your opponent, and there's four of you guys, so it's just like yeah. It actually is like sometimes it actually feels like a battle of the ego. Like sometimes you're like not like if you lose, it's almost like the person outsmarted you. So your ego kind of gets involved sometimes. Like man, I ain't letting this motherfucker. Nope. Yeah, but I, I spent a little too much time on this, that's for sure. You said YouTube's, YouTube's back. back, man? anti licking No check. Damn. There's no check on that, buddy.
Shit would hurt. Today, it's gonna be back day, man. We out here, Result City. Doing what we do best, man. Getting that good lift in. <laughs> sound like a gridiron game. Doing what we do best. Getting that, getting that good lift in. Ain't that right, Mike? Yep. Yeah, first, first things first, though. Got a foam roll. And pray. Babe, what you doing over there? A little bit of shoulder action going down? Why don't you want to do back with us? Shoulder day today? Mm -hmm. You don't want to do back? No, I'm on shoulder day. Join the big dogs. Why don't you guys join shoulder day? Okay. Just kidding. We're over here, man. That's where the winner's at. Yeah! yeah well, we need to get some music on, but some shit that won't get copyrighted. You know what I mean? Mike Stream X's. Mike, weren't you playing like beats on like SoundCloud or some shit? Yeah, I was playing SoundCloud too. Yeah, let's do that again. That'd be cool. Hey, foam rolling. I could just do this shit for way too long. Like, I don't even have to work out. I could just get lost in this shit. We need the pressure points. And we got the DJ. DJ. DJ in the mix. <laughs> Four sets of pull-ups, man. That's the warm-up, but that's also one of the five exercises we're gonna do. Because, you know, it's just classic, man. Gotta do some pull-ups. Mike starting us off. Oh yeah, you gotta warm up. Yeah. Before you jump into it. Cause if you don't, then you might screw it. Yeah, you're back. Ha ha. Yeah, you just blew it. <laughs> yeah, I cue it. Yes, sir. Boy, on some fly shit. Yeah. Mm. Fresh to death on some giant shit. Start with one plate, added 10, went to 25. Hit 25 twice. Wait a minute, damn. Oh, and then we came back down to one plate. Five sets, yeah. 
know. Today, uh, 175, that shit felt kind of heavy. Um, you know, me and me and Michael been shredding. I came down from 200 to like 180, 176 at my lowest. Mike came down from like 230. He came down to like 185 at your lowest, something like that. Yeah. So he lost like, what's that, 45 pounds or some shit? Around there. Yeah, me, like 20 or so. So we're, we're, we're a little weaker than usual, but you know, it's cool. We're not tripping. So yeah, five sets of the uh, bent over rows. We got, we got the T-bar rows set up. You wanna do that? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do some T-bars. Our third set. Yeah, man. We're gonna do five of these. Yes. Spend a good amount of time on the compounds. Cause they get these muscles big around. Then you be the uh big man around town. You're gonna be like, oh, everybody got a frown, but you smiling. Yeah, it's perfect time. You got your game. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got three workouts in so far. I usually do five um, on average, I'd say. So we got two more. What we're gonna do a superset, some low cable rows, and do them underhand grip. And um, we're gonna do some straight on pull downs. They're right next to each other, so you're just gonna superset. And we're gonna do four sets each, and that's how we're gonna finish off this back workout. I was really trying to pull with the elbows, man. Sometimes. As of recently, man, I've been dealing with like injuries, right? So a lot of my mind-muscle connection is not as good as it used to be because the routes that I used to take with certain form is just not working for me anymore. So I'm like finding new ways to lift and I'm trying to, um, that shit just ran out of space. What I was saying was, now I'm figuring out new forms. I gotta find new pathways where my joints aren't hurting and things aren't hurting and I'm constantly looking for new new pathways that feel good but also have like really good mind muscle connection. I'm feeling the muscles light up too. So I gotta keep my body safe 
and I gotta make sure that I'm feeling the fucking gains at the same time. So it's just like this journey. Um, that's what happens, man, when you've been lifting for like 10 plus years, you know, you go through little injuries and you gotta fucking regroup, you know, like improvise or figure out, adjust, evolve. So, yeah. Last set. You know, like sometimes you'll be like, man, that shit feels really good in my lat, but my fucking shoulder hurts. So you know, you gotta make an adjustment. Or sometimes it all feels good, but you're like, oh, my hips don't feel right. You know, there's always fucking something. So I've been just trying to make sure everything's working, you know, perfectly together. Because when shit's not feeling right and shit's like, you know, hurting, don't even push through it. Because it's supposed to feel good when you lift. Like it's supposed to feel good. You're not supposed to be having something that's like clicking and you're like, oh, that doesn't feel right. I'll push through it. It's not, that's going to fuck you up later on. Trust me. My girl, like even my girl, she's been just recently complaining about uh, something in her hip when she squats. And she loves to hit leg days. Like when I say love, she'd probably do that shit every day if she could. She damn near does. Like every time she's in the gym, I'd be like, what you doing? She'd be like, leg day. Then the next day, I'd be like, what you doing? She'd be like, glutes. I'm like, you just, that's like leg, you squatting like every fucking day. But her shit just gave out on her. She's not like you know, super injured or nothing, but her body is giving her a sign, like something in her pelvis, you know, where like hip area is like clicking when she gets to a certain depth or whatever. So that lets you know, like, yo, maybe your core is not engaged, your glutes aren't engaged as they need to be, something's wrong, and you gotta go back and fix that shit. That's the type of stuff that's been happening to my body, like in every lift, and I've been having to figure, figure shit out. It's like your whole body's connected. So if something's wrong somewhere, it probably is gonna affect even like your arm day, you know? Cause if your shoulders are like stiff or they're out of alignment and you're doing like some tricep shit, your shoulder's gonna be fucking up and your tricep's not gonna, you know, shit's not gonna be aligned, it's not gonna be working good. Um, that goes for like every body part. I've learned that from like doing all this yoga, like everything's fucking connected. So yeah, just be safe when you're lifting. Give this workout a shot and let's get better, man. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna, uh, yeah, we're finished up here pretty much. Maybe I'll do something, maybe some handstands or something. You know, I like to always mix that in there. Cool. Hey, that was cool. Okay. That was cool. I'm trying to use that. I'm trying to use the water to help get the one arm handstand. <laughs> you gotta get that fucking lockout. Like, you can't have this shit even like minorly bent. That shit gotta be mm, like nasty. Out. 
That's why Yoshi's gonna be strong. We punch him through the fucking camera. Boo! 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 Got them handstand arms. Good practice for the day. Because when you're consistent, I notice, I mean obviously when you're consistent, your skills are gonna go up, but like, when I'm really hitting them shits every day, even if it's for like 20 minutes to 30 minutes, as long as I'm getting in those positions and letting my body feel that out, like the days add up for sure, the moments add up, and like tomorrow I know I'm gonna have more control. And if I do it tomorrow, the next day I'll have even more control, then you, you have a fucking rest day and your body heals up and everything come back strong, you just keep, you know, the compound effect. Like KP just showed me that um, today is, today's Thursday, KP left on Tuesday, I think, yeah. And he, sh he just showed me that uh, the one arm thing off the wall and I couldn't really do it like that. I did it and held it for a little bit, like maybe two or three seconds, but now it's like, you know, I'm holding that shit, so. You just introduce your body to it, try it out, spend some time in those positions, and then, Shit's gonna come true for you, man. Your body's gonna be like, let's do it. You see that shit get nasty though, cause you start like this, and you know you used to track fingers. You know I got one, so after one, it's none. We're gonna be hitting that one arm. I don't know how long that shit's gonna take, but I feel like we're right in the fucking neighborhood, so. A big boy like me, you know what I'm saying? Who would've thought? <sighs> All right then. You know, we're just mixing it up around here, so next time we'll probably hit the bag, next vlog. Yeah man, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll see you guys, man. Comment new ideas. Comment below. Blast that shit up! <laughs> Damn, knock me out of balance. Work on Strong the balance, ass. man. Gotta work on the hips. Get on the hips, mate. Get on the hips. Oh. Nice. <laughs> hey, <laughs> my guy. Bye. Oh yeah.